All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Hunter Hunter, Hunter episode, episode 120. 120. Okay. Right. So, oof. Killa has <laughs> given the beat down on UP, which Killa has gone, you know, of, of varying degrees of effectiveness and duration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's and then, amazing. And then we've got Ikalgo, who mm -hmm. pulled a fast one on Bravada. Or, yes. I hope that's right. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, and then, but wasn't able to kill him. No, he or, had a really cool character moment of mm -hmm. just realizing that uh, he's he's someone that's not not meant to, to kill. Right. He's like, I don't want to do that. And yeah. it's, it's another aspect of a chimera ant, a.k.a. the typical mm -hmm. monster, finding right. an aspect of his humanity. Mm -hmm. So, yep. it's pretty cool. Yep. Um, but also, we have some mind games with Morel and, and Shia, Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Yeah, to where, be or not to uh, be. Yeah, he's like, do I fight? Do I not fight? Is this a trap? Yeah. Is this not a trap? <laughs> is this something I need to stop? Basically, or am like I just doing great yeah. as is? Admiral Akbar is like way off in the distance, like, either way, it's still a trap! You know? Yeah. <laughs> Like it's all, it's all a trap. You're not. I'm not uh, trapped in here with you. You're, you're trapped, trapped in here with me. <laughs> but except I'm not gonna be in here. Except I'm not really in a little in bit. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. This is hype. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. We're gonna start the episode in five, four, three, two, one. Now. Mm, knuckle. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. Yeah, oh, shoot, indeed. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. That's a perfect intro. Uh huh. Yep, Don't yep. give us a whole bunch of Short, other stuff. To the point. Short, communicates the it's immediate new information. And all that. Yep, and it's oh. a personal conflict. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm really excited about the prospect of either Shoot or Knuckle having to give their life for the other, mm -hmm. or or them basically having that moment of like barely making out of this alive, Try and they kind of look at each again. other going like, <sighs> and they just, just hug each other. <laughs> like They just laugh and are like, Knuckle, <laughs> Knuckle like smothers Shoot and kisses or something, and he's just like, please, please, please. No, no what I would want to see is them just being like, I'm hungry. Yeah, let's get some food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. let's get some shawarma. <laughs> that sounds good. Tenshin hanaki nusu. You can try it. Curious, curious. Mm. Maybe he's trying to get Shia LaBeouf to react with doing something unexpected. I hope he tries the whole... Oh. Wait. He smashed it. Did that work? <laughs> Wait, seriously? Whoa. Ha 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 ha! Okay. Well done, well done. Hmm. Gotcha. Huh. Ooh, what darkness falls. How long did it take? The violin mm -hmm. it plays so beautifully and madly. Mm. 
it's a good plan, but uh, but he didn't. didn't. It didn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh boy! Oh, here we go. Okay, so what do you do now? Uh... Why does these look like little sperm? Uh... Okay. Oh, little chibi Shia LaBeouf's. Oh, try to try to catch us all, then they all are just uh -huh. gonna split up. I guess. Gonna try and put them back in. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Two can all play right. this game. Yep. 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 Whoa. Oh, oh that's a crap. Awesome. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. The chase is on. So. Okay. Oh, Wait crap. Oh, that's... That's bad. Uh. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. He probably has no idea. Oh, that, that's not going to do much against you, B. Oh, nice. nice. Okay, awesome. cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> 90 knuckles. <laughs> 90 knuckles. Here we go. Oh, look at the, the, the expressions on some of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is getting intense. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We haven't seen her in a while. Good. Running away. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised more Camarians haven't decided to do this. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow, wow Bizef. <laughs> I 
I can see that. I wonder that. why. Nope. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't want anyone to know I'm leaving. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Uh -huh. You think? Yep, yep. <laughs> mm hmm. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Okay. So you need to leave too. Yeah. All right. Well, there goes his uh, his pipe. Yep. Palm randomly starts scuba diving down there and gets it. <laughs> or Nov. Sure. Beelzebub, okay. Oh, it's the, uh... Gotcha. The chibi... Them. Chibi clones. Come here, mini-me. You will, you will complete me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Jeez. That's pretty sweet. Right, those are, that's the dust, I think. The little... Mm -hmm. It's the billionth of a size version. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Oh, oh, dang. Gotcha. Sure. <laughs> that... Cheerful little face. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Gotcha. Because then he would have just hidden small as a bee inside there. Dang. Whew. Yeah. Whew. Nice. Yeah. Dang. Squish. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Ah. Uh. 
<laughs> I love how proud he is of uh -huh, his yeah. outthinking yeah. morale. Right. Yeah. yeah. And now even less so. Right, in the whole Yuppie situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Due to the actions of what's going on outside. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I love how they're all in different, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> different knuckle expressions, yeah. basically. <laughs> Okay. Gotcha. Or specifically Knuckle here. Mm The funny thing is uh, that, yeah, they could also just use them to distract him so he doesn't know who to go after, and then say, you have to go on the offensive because time is, you know, a good thing for us. Well, true, but Yuppie's got a near-perfect defense here. Right, that's what I'm saying, if they just try to not attack and let the uh, Chapter 7 bankruptcy stack up. <laughs> oh mm. nice All okay right. cool it's like recap for us he's going around and <laughs> yep yep <laughs> oh oh Wait. The human captured a few days ago. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't wait to discuss this. Okay. Oh, he calls them thugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, good point. I need to be faster. Mm hmm. Oh, oh right, oh. right. That's yeah. good. Oh, that's good. As long as Melioron keeps, you know, mm -hmm. stealthy. Uh, what is the Chapter 7 bankruptcy at now? It's got to be high, but it can't be right. that that high. Remember, not a lot of time has passed. Yeah, but, but he did get eight solid hits, and we didn't see what it actually got put up to, so... He's baiting you, he's baiting you! Yep. Oh, wow! 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 
Did Morel change it to make it seem like it's different? Ho 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 ho! Wow! Nice. Oh, he's pissed now! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Ah. Knuckle! Alright! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> now get far away. <laughs> By gods. <laughs> nice buckets. This is a terrifying ability for mm -hmm. oh, for yeah. him to have, like. Oh. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. That's legit. Good, good. Oh. oh. Okay. It's Nov, isn't it? It's Nov. No, that's shoot. I know, but Nov is the one that moved shoot. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you hero, oh, Nov! Yes. Well done! Yes! <laughs> yeah! Good man. Being brave. Yeah. Doing what he can. Uh-huh. Good call. I, I did not think of that. Gosh. This could be Kilwa. But it's one one set of footsteps. But is it is it Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Dang. Oh boy. Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. So what's amazing about that is that one, he probably oh. wants uh, he, uh, Kamugi to be dead. But I think the reason he's here is because the he king. needs he needs right, the king. Right. He needs he needs uh, Neferpito to locate the king. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. And but she can't do that because nope. she's helping Kamugi. You know. Yep. And then <laughs> oh my god. And then of course Gon's there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Gon. This is the funny thing. Gun might protect uh -huh. Nefito in this case. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be like, She's Are mine. you going to take her away from uh -huh. me? She well, has she something that she needs to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. But Jacob, <laughs> yeah. the human captured a few days ago. You know who that is, right? Um, remind me. There's two. Palm. Oh, right. Duh. And he Duh. said, it will be born soon. Holy crap. So Palm's going to be even creepier. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. All right. Yep. All right. I was like, just wanted to see if you would you would pick up on it. But like, the only human right, right. could yeah, have yeah. been captured uh -huh. before the invasion. Yep. Like, oh, multiple boy. days. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. What an okay. episode. Okay. That so there was a lot. A lot of Morel Shia LaBeouf stuff. Yes. And them it was great. kind of them kind of doing a lot of their internal monologuing, mm -hmm. narration, kind yeah, of explanation all that stuff. stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that's fine because the majority of the episode was still involving them game trying to outgame each mm -hmm. other. But there were a lot of things that actually moved, I would say, forward. And uh -huh. also a lot of things that we were kind of uh, recapped on in a really clever way 
and yeah. also a couple bits of information that are new. Uh -huh. that yeah. It's like, wait, wait, what? Right. So, so, so the whole thing of, of, of Palm being That captured. is Palm. That, that is yeah. Palm. It was so, a web oh cocoon thing, uh -huh, like uh -huh. a metamorphosis pod right, of right, sorts. Right, right, And it's they said it was a human that was captured a few days ago. Uh -huh. So logic dictates that it has to be Palm because... She's been MIA for a while. Right. They haven't. They haven't said where she is. They haven't said where no she one, is. There is no one else that's really like missing right now. And so. and based on the fact that she didn't check in with them before everything, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, we knew that something must have gone wrong. Right. We but were it was assuming the question, her dead. We yeah, it was either that she was dead mm -hmm. or she was in hiding within the palace somewhere. Right. Like maybe in the deep and levels, was just unable to contact. Them. Yeah. But if so, then you know, yeah, yeah, uh huh. Yeah. So so now we are. Pretty much guaranteed that mm -hmm. that's not only Palm, that's some kind of like, like thing that uh, Shia LaBeouf is, is like, like working on, some experiment yeah, who, or something. Who knows? But um, one Ugh. of the, one of the things that I really liked about this episode was how they went into a lot of the the mind games, but not just from the standpoint of like, oh, okay, what's the strategies and all that. That that was awesome. Right. I loved the fact that Shia LaBeouf Shia LaBeouf was thinking about all those. All those different variables and stuff, and in how Morel would respond in the in the idea that even though Morel responded in a way that would traditionally be considered bad, because you know he broke right. his cool and he 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 focused on something other than what was the original task, mm -hmm. um, it still ends up working out well because now he can help Knuckle, who would have been in a very tight pinch with Yuppie. And I loved 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 the fact that he had them all look like Knuckle, but then said. No, yeah, yeah, you're finally cluing in. There are no copies. Like, like, you know, like th this is no, <laughs> which is a lie. Which is a lie, but because it's great because Yuppie believes it because you know he's Yuppie, right? <laughs> and that allows Knuckle to get in a great punch, you know. Oh, and uh, so yeah, Chapter Seven bankruptcy must be now a lot higher. Oh yeah, like, oh yeah. Uh -huh. Whoa. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm, yeah. just, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, but uh, Shia Ooh. LaBeouf's abilities are freaky and all mm -hmm. over the place yep. and seemingly like giving him near like like limitless power not that he's necessarily really strong in his output like someone like mm -hmm. Yuppie but he's able to do the RTS game yeah like, he's able to do the really annoying abilities mm -hmm. the kind of abilities that if yeah. you're playing against this person in a PvP one-on-one -on -one thing, you're just like, ugh, can you just die already? <laughs> like, yeah. my numbers are better than yours, but no, you have all these uh -huh. really yep, weird, yep, yep. like, single, you know, well, multi-use or whatever. The like, funny thing about it, though, is that the, your numbers most likely aren't better than his. No, but the way Shia LaBeouf fights is not direct. Right. So therefore, the numbers oh, yeah. never compete with no, no. Morels. So no, I, I, I was I was talking literally numbers, like the number of Shia LaBeouf ah, versus ah, the number of yeah. say Morel and his clones. Funny, you know, <laughs> it's bigger. But, oh, but this development. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nefropito is scared. Uh huh. I've been waiting for this to happen. I've yeah. been hoping that this yeah. would happen. I like, think you predicted uh, that there would be some kind of a three or four person encounter because mm -hmm. I think he predicted that Kilwa would be there when this right. happened. Uh -huh. But but this, well, this, this works is, amazingly This too. is basically the yeah. same thing. The thing is I don't see actually a whole lot coming from this. Oh yeah? I think it's a little bit of a a little bit of a scare rather than an actual Possibly. like big deal. But because because him being there, mm -hmm. his goal is the king. Yeah. He came mm -hmm. here at the very least to talk. Okay. He's sure. probably not going to wordlessly attack them. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. probably going to say something. Yeah. I think he doesn't care at all about gone. Oh, no. I think he's there saying, Nefropito, you need to tell me where the king is. Right. And you need to find him and you can't do that while you're doing this. Yes. You know. Yeah. Then uh, mm -hmm. we need to use uh Kamugi to leverage uh basically the the, the king or we oh. need to get rid of her because she could be used as leverage against the king. Or well, something. yeah, I mean that 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 seems like a bonus from the standpoint of locating the king. Like Shia, Shia LaBeouf, that that's sure, probably something that he wants. Right. But yeah. strictly he, for the probably, purposes of locating the he's king, he probably just wants her to use her end again. Right, which is something that she can't do right now. 
So there's that. And then what do you think will happen? <laughs> well, because what what I think will happen is that this will be this will be this fantastic moment where at this point Neferpito probably could take a break real quick. Like Kamugi's probably stay well, maybe no cuz an hour was the minimum to make her stabilized. Yeah. So so yeah, so she probably wouldn't be able to. But even if she was able to, even if yeah. she was able to say like okay, 30 seconds that won't be much of a problem and then I'll get back to it. Right. Something tells me that Gon doesn't want to wait any longer. Or he doesn't want interruptions. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So so because so, so the, Shia yeah. LaBeouf just even being in the room is mm -hmm. like, yep, yep, he's um, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Excuse me? Right. Who do you think you are? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Um, and and Oof. I feel like this is this will be the great way to do sort of a a 2.0 of of or a follow up of 116 because 116 was all about not the conflict of what would be able to happen, right? Not not about an actual right. fight, but it was rather of the decisions that the characters would make, right? Mm -hmm. The 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 interpersonal conflict. And I feel like this is the next stage of that because yeah. They're all going to have to make choices. <laughs> Neferpitos is probably the most obvious. And then Shia LaBeouf's, because he has something that he specifically wants. And then, of course, Gon's. Gon's is How is like, he going to respond Gons to is this a question development? Of, if he acts, who knows what he's going to do. Uh -huh. If he doesn't act, then it just kind of goes with what I would say is predicted, is that he's not going to do anything unless it directly inhibits what Neferpito's here to do. Mm -hmm. I could right. see him basically just kind of turning uh -huh. his eyes up at, at <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <Yeah. laughs> and if he starts saying something that he doesn't like, his aura flashes a little bit, you know, in that uh -huh. kind of that, that, that dark black. hue, you yeah, know? Yeah. Uh -huh. And he just kind of goes, ah, that's cute. But yeah, I, I, this isn't worth my time. And then, <laughs> and he goes up really high and does like some kind of spiritual message type I don't know, just boom, just, you know, explode out, you know, <laughs> or, everywhere and just try and find something of the king. Or he does spiritual message to read Gon's emotional state. And he's like, oh, cool. Oh, hmm. That's a cool okay. story way also like, to... To give exposition on something exposition that shouldn't be exposited. On, right, yeah. yeah. Huh, mm -hmm. I like that. Like, they don't have to do that, but if they did, that'd be pretty cool. No, I almost you know. think now that... It's something that he probably to does to do. so casually. Sure. That yeah. why wouldn't he do it? Mm -hmm. Also, I think it would be a good defense mechanism for Sh for Shia LaBeouf to just make sure that he doesn't get jumped while right. he's within yeah, you know point. ten feet of an enemy. Uh huh. He's yeah. like ah, just well, keep tabs. This is a simmering uh, mm -hmm. pot of water about to boil over. Yep. Yep. But it seems to be holding steady right now. So right. I'm not going to poke the mm -hmm. yep <laughs> poke yep. the kettle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but oh, man. but they they are okay. One of the things, all right. Chapter seven bankruptcy is probably my favorite inability, other than maybe Nobs. Mm -hmm. And whenever they bring it up, I always get like really invested in how they end invested. up using it. Yeah, yeah, invested. Yeah. Uh huh. Ah. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and one of the things that I w that would have <laughs> been so awesome if they did in this episode. Mm -hmm. Is if when uh, uh, Morel did the whole trick of no, they're all smoke smoke things. Well, Yuppie doesn't know how Chapter Seven bankruptcy works. No, he doesn't. So Knuckle could have gone up and punched him, still pretending to be a, sh a smoke clone. Now he might have been able to tell the difference if there was like a I difference in, in power behind the punch. I think he was. Yeah, probably. But but if there wasn't, or like if Knuckle pulled back a bit, which prop I, I mean, I guess there wouldn't have been a point in doing that. But they could have kept up the facade that that. But he exploded. He was going to explode. So the, uh, clones, that's true. the yeah, clones were yeah. going to go away almost no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah, good point. I good think point. he was basically saying, I've had it with these mother clones. Yeah, yeah. Mother uh, mm -hmm. right, and he's just right. like... I just had this picture in my head of if Morel basically kept this up and Yupi isn't paying attention to the number on the thing. So he isn't realizing... Chikandes! Yeah, he, he isn't realizing that it went up without a chikandes, right? You know, or something like that. So, so he's just like, oh, what's going on? And all of a sudden it's that like... Five thousand, and he's like, 
that doesn't seem right. <laughs> like, what? what? I don't get this. Maybe, maybe he has an eye that he generally keeps trained on his back, which sure. is where the thing is. Yeah. And he kind of keeps track of the number uh-huh. that way. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would do if I was yeah. UP. He does He does have the ability to make, make eyes and arms and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just really hope they end up showing us, like, show me the numbers. Like, like <laughs> I mean... But then we'd be able to track with the math and stuff, and they don't exactly. want to give us like that much detail. It, but that's either. the best way to make fights like you know really interesting is make them all about math, right? It's like showing a chess game in a in the background of a show or a movie or something, <laughs> and then you go and look at the chess game. And you're like, is this a legal game? Uh-huh. You can tell immediately because you oh, have yeah. like two Usually. black bishops on black. You yeah, know, I've, I've literally or 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 even better, they have pawns on the back row. That's the one like, where you're just like, like, like you idiots. <laughs> or, or like the best one is like, both kings are in check at the same time. You know? Oh, it's like, sure. Like, mm, yeah. Mm. But like, but but like, just because Knuckles' ability is like yes, so so much fun, it's one of those ones. Compound like, interest. Compound interest. Like <laughs> it can be terrifying or it can be awesome. And and I I, I want to see like because because I could totally imagine if I was in the like the Hunter Hunter world, I would want to come up with something like this. Right. Because I love abilities that stack. Like, yes. Like, yes. Like mm, that snowball. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Passives. Oh, <laughs> passive ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, yeah. But okay, so uh, we have Chibi Shia LaBeouf. Mm-hmm. That's a new development. That was hilarious. That was hilariously like, ridiculous. And the funny thing is, is I kind of predicted that there would be some kind of weird madness, kind of like almost. Like, I called it ugly, but basically, like, some kind of transformation to showcase how uh-huh. he how has lost how it. he has lost it. And this is almost kind of a oh, comedy yeah. version uh-huh. of that. Because, because it's showing how he's childish. Split. Well, well, split. But also show, showing how childish he's gotten. Because things aren't going the way he wanted, right? You know, the... the well, yeah. Like, remember, yes, I, I agree that this is, this is kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Um... It does seem, though, that this fight has called him back to his senses somewhat. Right, yeah, the idea that he's he's still going to be a proficient fighter, even though he is very much emotionally compromised. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, and, yeah. maybe, like maybe what it'll be is that he's going to be the last one. Like, one of my predictions, I believe, was that Shia LaBeouf is one of the last Chimera Ants to survive the whole encounter. Okay. And he just comes upon, like, I think this is something I'm kind of inferring onto the original prediction. They're on the Discord if you want to take a look at them. But that, uh, you know, he basically goes crazy when he finds Mm -hmm. out that the king is dead and, uh, like, kills himself, basically. Sure. But uh, this would be a fun thing to have him have the most dragged out, like, long fight, you know, of them all. And like him and Morel are constant like fighting, and then mm-hmm. like he goes to look for the king wherever he can't find him. He comes back, and you end up fighting some more. And you know the, he, you just can't beat this guy. Like right. uh-huh. Shia LaBeouf's abilities, like we don't see them, and they don't look flashy. They don't look just really nope. like. Yeah, they're just basically like, nope, you can't, you can't stop mm-hmm. me. You can't yep. beat me. You can't right. kill me. Mm-hmm. And those kinds of abilities are just busted because. Yeah. Although as he, long as he has the ability to at least dish out damage, right. he will outlast you. Yeah. But he does have the main control one, so it does have a weakness. It's not that you have to kill them all like simultaneously or something. Like he did say that there was a control one, so but the thing is he makes it so that it's always indistinguishable from the other ones because he keeps them the same size and everything. And there doesn't seem to be any serious range limitation on how yeah, far away the control one is from all the others. Yep. And yep. given that he can just fly. Right. Yeah. You know. He yeah. could be like in the lower atmosphere, you know, just sitting up there, just like, yeah, oh, I can see everything. Right, cool. This is kind yeah, of yeah. fun, you know. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Now, okay, okay. We can't really speculate. Well, no, we can only speculate. There's no, like, there's nothing to really go off of. But Palm is in some sort of cocoon. Thing, That's whatever. true. Egg, she's however you want to call it. She's turning into some kind of like chimera yeah. and human hybrid thing, and it's gonna be sad, I think, because. Because she kind of wanted to be, like, a good student. That was kind of... And she loved Nav. Yeah, she wanted Senpai to notice her. She wanted Senpai to notice her. And Mm -hmm. this is the kind of thing of where, like... 
I kind of oh. hope I kind of hope that there's there's redemption for her. Not redemption, but I mean like mm-hmm. she's not going to have a horrible oh. ending to her story here. I had an Im- an imaginations of okay. her ending potentially. Nov captures her basically if if she's in some sort of horrible monstrous form where she doesn't recognize anybody or whatever. She's sure. she's something very much different now. Okay. Nov basically ends up capturing her in one of his boxes in one oh. of his rooms and, and then, then he, he goes talks and... to her and helps her remember uh-huh yep, yep oh yep, that's sweet yep, i love yep. it yes yeah. i love the idea of chimera ants surviving mm-hmm. this encounter and remembering their humanity yeah i want that to be like if there's anything like post chimera ant arc i want it to be that have it be about the uh sure the people like cult you yeah know? Uh-huh. And uh, the queen's, you know, kid, uh-huh. <laughs> and and uh, you know, like Ikalgo, right? And yeah, because with like Melioron, yeah, because I, I feel like with like, Colt, it's more of an obvious one of like, ah, yes, he, he'll be okay because yeah, Colt's, Colt's a, a good, good boy. boy. Yes. Yeah, with Ikalgo, he's like the the next one, you know, sure. Up with Melioron, yeah. I almost feel like he has to die just for <laughs> just because his power is too busted. But but yeah. But then, like, with the other ones, that's where I feel like it gets really interesting because it's something where they had not already basically chosen the, to, to, to fight alongside the hunters and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's more of something where their entire world is gone now. Mm-hmm. No, not no, we don't, gone. I, I know, I smirk, but, yeah. but yeah. it's fine. <laughs> and, and then they basically have to deal with that. Right. Because it's like, okay, I can't try and start over the chimera ant thing and start eating humans and becoming a king or queen or whatever because then i will bring in an, an extermination squad or, or you know or something or other i don't know um mm-hmm. and then it's like okay so so what do i do now you know i have to i have to integrate. basically integrate right integrate yeah i think that's going to be the coolest thing is that hunter hunter is a fantasy world and i think we i i think that there's elements of it that go into that like science fiction aspect of where like Green uh-huh. Island is a thing and stuff right. but like ultimately it's a world I would say a lot like um, not Star Wars but I think Star Wars kind of works where basically there's mm-hmm. just creatures out right. there it's a world of wonder yeah it's a world of wonder and there's a whole lot of things out there that people don't understand and it's yep. not it's not something where the world is understood yet Mm-hmm. So there's right. there's room for things like chimera ants yeah. to be in human society. Sure. It's just a question of do they have to live by their we eat humans mm-hmm. code of right. conduct things. Like yep. I don't think they do. I think that Colt is mm-hmm. like the example of where he'll be kind of the new leader yeah, of sure. the chimera. That would ants. be that would be awesome. Yeah. And then you could have people like Palm Mm-hmm. Uh, essentially providing a bridge maybe to the hunter sure as, the yeah the hunter association right because they're like oh hmm yeah that's right this this person we we remember them from when they weren't a chimera ant and nov is able to talk to her you know and maybe interact with her and be like yeah right. th- this is this isn't just some monster now palm is still in there yeah you know and yeah yeah i think that also might be where this could get interesting let's say Palm is in the process of becoming like a pure, not a pure, but like a, 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 a you know, a fully fleshed out uh, chimera ant. Mm-hmm. But something happens in the process and it gets interrupted. And sure. that's part of the issue is that she's yeah. more, more or less stuck between both worlds. Mm-hmm. She's and dreamy. She's, yeah. And then she's kind of a picture as to what the future post chimera ant being sure. led by Meruem essentially would look like that could be really cool yeah. I also think that a lot of these characters that mm-hmm. they keep kind of giving little bits of focus to and I yeah. think there's a reason why they're doing that thematically and plot wise mm-hmm. so um, like Welfin yes but also Leol's let me see if I have her name here. Yeah, yeah, the 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 one that eats the nen. Right, stuff. right. And, and gets not pregnant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have her name here. Yeah, I I mean, yeah. But but yeah, her. Mhm. Yeah. So, okay, if she is given uh, essentially some some story mm-hmm. elements here like getting the treasure, yeah. Like getting the treasure and stuff. Mm-hmm. But we also have characters like Palm. Mm-hmm. 
we have characters like Ikalgo and Melioron and yep. all these other Chimera ants that aren't really tied necessarily to Meroem, it does make me think that they're basically saying there is a world with Chimera ants in it mm-hmm. and no Meroem. It's sure. kind of it's kind of something that we I think we almost expected had to happen in some ways. Right, because they're they were very much being treated as the next stage of evolution when Meroem came along and stuff. Sure, but also that Meroem is going to die. It's yeah, it's something I, yeah. it's something where <laughs> yeah. it's something where right now I think the fact that they give all this attention to all these other characters mm-hmm. means not only that Meruem has to die, it's that kind of in some ways this way of the Chimera Ants has to die. Sure. Otherwise, oh, yeah. Yeah. otherwise humans won't stop with just right. Meruem uh-huh. and the Royal Guard. Yeah, yeah. And that might actually be the way that they make this like really dark, is that the humans don't stop with... Um, Marilyn and the Royal sure. Guard. And that's not really even like this story's, you know, point. It's more of a thing of like quietly, you know, behind closed doors, like Colt has yeah. promised amnesty with the Queen's daughter uh-huh. and stuff. Or and then they all end like, up getting killed. You know, yeah. kid or whatever. They'll drop into a room with Netero. Or or you know. basically just people with guns walking and kill Colt. And sure. they drag the kid out and uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I think that there's there's an element of this where the show is trying to say that there is a future, and I'm kind of just repeating myself. Now, there's mm-hmm. a future of the Chimera Ants beyond Meroem, right. yep. and then it's just a question of how dark do they want this to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, we've now had a little bit of an appraisal of what's going on in the palace. Mm-hmm. Yep, it was a very clever way, I think, to recap. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. And also, we are now in that thing again of, where the hell is Mero and Minetero? Uh And it's like, I feel like them having this episode here means that within like two episodes, (laughs) we're probably getting... I could see it uh, being four or five. Really? Yeah, because, I mean, because Hunter x Hunter, like, because because of how big this arc is, yeah. like, they need to skip around. Like, in, sure. in the same way that we thought they were going to be doing something with, like, Akalgo and Bravada, or however mm-hmm. you pronounce his name, because that was such a big thing last episode, that doesn't mean right. it had, they, they were even brought up this episode, right? Yeah. So, I can't imagine having to have a whiteboard, or whiteboards, <laughs> and, like, spiderweb this mm-hmm. story out. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's something yeah. where you basically have like a bunch of linear li- like just lines, right? Lines, a bunch yep. of straight lines, yep. and you basically say, okay, these are all the these, these are, are all the stories. dots. These, these are, are all the, the dots that are happening, right? Mm-hmm. These are all the stories, and this is this is each individual story. Now, since I need to keep this more or less, you know, as not confusing as possible, he takes a bracket is, from each line. Exactly and right, and like, he basically says, "This is what five. it's. This is this is the actual real time timeline of what's happening." So, if Netero and Meroem actually arrive at their destination where they fight here, then that means all this other time they're not going to be there, and then I need to just, you know, go through everything else. It sounds like it would be really fun to write, and it would be hell to edit. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. like, because like, changing one little thing would change a bunch of everything other things. else. And that's, I get the feeling that if they're like, when, when, when we're all done with this arc mm-hmm. and we look back on it, mm-hmm. if we were to basically be, if we were to find and like look at things that could have been done better, it would be because of things like that, where it's like, this is so big, you can't fine tune every tiny right, aspect right. because it has a rippling effect on everything else. Exactly. You know? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's so big. Yeah, essentially that the the amount of story that's being covered isn't actually large. It's that it's happening in many different places right, simultaneously. It's yes, it's wide. Yeah, it's not that the story is long, if, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. So <laughs> right. it makes it makes it not necessarily some grand, you know. Lord of the Rings journey story. Mm-hmm. This is just some night. Right. Where yeah. yeah. Basically. The whole world mm-hmm. stops. Yep. Because you know. Because combat has happened. Because and, combat you know. happened, and and if it takes five hundred rounds of combat, that's great. Yeah, we have we have we have an hour. You know. Yeah, but 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 think about it this way, Jacob. Mm-hmm. We have I think like two dozen people that rolled for initiative and are yep. taking their turns, uh-huh. casting spells, doing oh, yeah. their moves oh, yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And some of them, and the party is split. 
Yeah, about as much as it can possibly About get. as much as it can get. Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I just imagine, like, trying to recreate this as a DM. It just oh, yeah. seems oh, yeah. like madness. <laughs> um, something that I, I feel like is really cool mm -hmm. here is Morel talking to Knuckle about kind oh, of sort yeah. of like that uh -huh. you, you, when you've lost your cool, I'm going to make all the clones look like you to showcase that I know you've lost your cool. Right. And uh -huh. that condition will basically, you know, basically trigger the thought in you of, okay, you I need, need to, to cool, you need to cool down and right. basically uh -huh. take a step back and think. Yep. The thing is, is that this is something that Morel, I think, represents for all the characters, if you note of every single member in the squad that's coming, mm -hmm. except Netero, because we haven't focused on right. him like uh -huh. at all, he's the only one that's really kept his cool. And the funny thing is, is that the thing that ended up being a problem in his fight with Shia LaBeouf is that he lost his cool. Yep. And yep. it ends up helping with Knuckle and all that stuff. But yep. from the and, from the standpoint of just that fight, yep. that was what he needed to do. Exactly. Yeah. But the one time that we know in the story that he definitely lost his cool. Do you remember the one point where Morel uh -huh. lost his emotional, like, he, he got scared? Right, and that was when Gon was facing him down and yeah. Yeah, pretending he was Nefer yeah. Pito. Yeah, so yeah. I think that mm -hmm. it's it's a cool representation of the master and apprentice relationship having it shown with right. Knuckle here. Uh -huh. But showcasing how much Gon needs a Morel. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Knuckle, sorry, not Knuckle, because Killua is not a master apprentice dynamic uh -huh. with yep, Gon. Yep. He is not Gon's father. This is this is a this yeah. is a fa the Knuckle Morel thing is a father son relationship mm -hmm. in the professional sense. Right. Yep. Gon's whole story has been to find his father, mm -hmm. and now we see one of those perfect instances where if he had someone like that. Uh huh. Yep. Things would go a whole lot different, like way yeah. different. Oh yeah, yep. and I just think that's a that's a very sad, sad but beautiful thing to put in the story mm -hmm. is to it's, show it's in, so true. Like, it's so true, but it's it's something that I think applies a lot to real life as well. As you'll see, I think this is maybe a little bit too maybe too real or too inferring too much, but I feel like there's a lot of young men out there that have maybe a maybe something painful or something that takes over their emotions and they don't the men generally aren't good with handling emotions mm -hmm. that are unbridled so we vent it out into sure. generally um something that can feel it <laughs> in this case gone kind of had a weird moment of sure. just having nothing really to just uh -huh. you know he's like we have to fight like we yeah, have yeah. to do uh -huh. this right now and right. it's like no i'm not yeah i I think that this is just a just a cool picture of that. Mm -hmm. It's a very yep. sad and depressing thing, oh, but yeah. it I think it gives you a lot of room to empathize with mm -hmm. Gon. Yep, yep. So the so yeah, I just a, I just wanted to pull up that father son dynamic uh -huh. thing, and because yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. I feel like a lot of the time the way that it's brought up in stories will usually be along the lines of the sort of. Uh, Joffrey and Robert Baratheon kind of relationship. Oh, sure. Where, where you know the, the absent father, right? Yeah, the absent father or whatever that basically didn't didn't just you know teach their kid how to be a good person, and then you know bad things happen because of it, sure. right? But but this aspect is <sighs> because it's not talked about as much. I would say it's all the more important to end up getting addressed because because this isn't the kind of thing like like the whole idea of just you know guys understanding how to deal with strong emotions and all that stuff it's not something that's really like uh propagated i i feel like uh just in general so mm -hmm. the fact that we get that here with our main character is fantastic like the, the connection you made between like the fact that kill was not jing like mm -hmm. that yeah. like that that's that's fantastic uh, yeah, but guys, it's a good episode. Yep, great show. Mm -hmm. Um, palm, yeah, palm. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, 
So guys, if you want to watch the next two episodes reactions right now, go check out the link in the description below for our mm -hmm. Patreon. You can get an early access there. Any kind of uh, Patreon support gives you access to our yes. Discord where you can chat with us about stories, non-spoilery Hunter Hunter mm -hmm. stuff, and also we're doing the uh, uh, events that we've got yeah. uh, going there for the Discord factions. Mm -hmm. If you were around in May, you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.